The goal of this video is to demonstrate how to align the PMP450 high gain radio. This video begins with the 450B radio already assembled and mounted to the pole at the installation site. For the complete assembly and installation process, please see our video titled PMP450B Installation. This video will cover how to use the CN Archer mobile installation app to configure the PMP450B subscriber module and align the dish to the AP. To accomplish these tasks, we will be using the following equipment. PMP450B subscriber unit already mounted to the pole, an approved battery powered dongle such as this unit from PowerLink, a cell phone with the latest version of the CN Archer app installed, and a 13 mm wrench. A torque wrench is optional but recommended for final tightening of the mounting bolts. Power up the dongle and plug it into the subscriber module using the included cable. The next step is to access the subscriber module using the CN Archer app. Launch the CN Archer app on your cell phone. On the first access, it will request access permission and you must accept the terms and conditions of usage. Continuing as a first time user, the app will display a series of prompts to guide you through the initial setup, starting with CN Maestro options. We are using the cloud version for this demo, so we select Yes, CN Maestro Cloud and click Next to continue. Enter your CN Maestro account login and password. You can click on the Validate button to confirm that the account information is correct. Also on this screen, enter your onboarding key for CN Maestro and click the check mark, then click Next. This takes you to the Configuration Scan List screen. We are connecting to an AP in the 5.4 GHz band and then selecting the 20 MHz bandwidth, followed by the 5480 MHz channel. Click Done and Done Again to complete the configuration. The app now gives you a choice of software images. If you choose to download an image to your phone, this enables you to push it to the subscriber module locally. We've already downloaded the software we need, so we'll click Next to continue. Here you have the option to allow CN Archer to access this device's location. Click Allow so that the GPS location on your phone can be pushed to the subscriber unit. Next you need to connect the dongle's Wi-Fi signal. Select the SSID of the PowerLink unit from the list shown on the app. In this case, it is the default, LinkTech, and when the connection is successful, you will see a green icon on the screen. After clicking Done, the app automatically checks for a connected subscriber module. Here it finds the PMP450B High Gain Demo Unit and displays the product type, the MSN, ESN, and the current software load. Now that you've connected to the subscriber module, the next step is to configure it. Since the 450B is an integrated radio, there is no need to set the external antenna type. Click on Configure Scan List, which causes the app to push the scan frequency that was configured earlier during the initial setup. You'll see the status on the app screen as it progresses. When it's finished, click Done to advance to the next screen, the security settings. We're not using any security, such as radius, on the access point we're connecting to for the demo, so we can leave this set to None. The demo AP is configured to use AES encryption though, so we'll change the encryption setting in the app to match. After the unit reboots, you are ready to connect to the access point. The app allows you to enter a tag name, which can be useful if you want to try scanning for APs in different directions. We'll enter Demo West, since that's the direction of the AP we are using. Now click Start AP Evaluation to begin scanning for available APs. The subscriber module will show a list of all of the APs it finds. The information here shows that this is the demo AP that we want to use, so we'll select it and then click Connect to AP. The subscriber module automatically configures the color code from this AP and reboots to apply the change. Once the subscriber unit registers to the AP, the app transitions to the alignment mode. This 450B is a high gain model that produces a narrow beam in both the vertical and horizontal dimensions. You can see from the antenna pattern that there are significant side lobes near the main access. The demo location is about a mile from the AP with a direct view making it straightforward to align. At more distant locations where the AP may be hard to see, alignment takes a bit of care. If you find yourself with one of the side lobes aimed at the AP, it can look like you are correctly aligned because you'll see the signal peak at the center of the lobe. It's a good idea to try going outside of the peak area to confirm that you are truly aligned using the main beam.
Here we'll start by adjusting the azimuth since we can be pretty confident that the tilt is close to the optimal angle. As the dish is moved left and right, you can see how the signal strength changes in real time on the app. Once you find the pink, temporarily lock down the bracket in position with a 13 mm wrench. Now loosen off the two bolts which control the tilt and optimize the elevation. Again, when you are satisfied with the result, tighten the bolt sufficiently to hold the dish in place. When you are confident that everything is adjusted right, tighten all the bolts down to lock the radio in place to 25.5 newton meters. Now that the alignment is done, click Run Link Test to perform the test using the default extrapolated mode, which doesn't impact the AP service. There is also the option to run a real link test, which is limited to two seconds because it disrupts service on the AP. The results of each test are recorded by CN Archer, and you can view them at any time by clicking on the History button. When you are finished with the link test, click Done to move on to the final piece of the subscriber module setup, which is the IP configuration. Here you can assign a name to the subscriber module and enter the installation height. When you have finished setting the IP parameters, click Save. This will push the remaining configuration to the SM and it reboots to apply the changes. Once the subscriber module has rebooted, the status messages show that the onboarding process is in process. This completes the configuration and alignment, and the SM is now registered on the AP and onboarded in CN Maestro. We hope this video has been informative and want to thank you for watching. For additional information on PMP 450 or to post a question, visit Cambian Community.